A CRM system or client relation management system can be expensive and can be overcomplicated. It can also be challenging to set up to start with. So what I've actually done is I've created my CRM system inside of my Notion space. And for those of you that don't know what Notion is, Notion is an all-in-one workspace, a no-code app, where you can essentially build your own app. So what I've done is I've built my CRM system inside of my everyday task management. So I have my task management, project management, CRM system and life all organized in one app. In this video, because obviously my CRM system has client information in, I'm not going to share that on YouTube, but I have created a template that there is a link in the description below if you want to get that, but I'm going to share with you how I've made a CRM system in Notion and how it works for me. So what you can see on screen is actually what I've created. So this is the template that you would get. And in my system, deals is projects, actions are tasks, and some of these other database names are named slightly differently in my space. But in this specific example, you can see deals. And in that little card view, you can see we have that pipeline going across and each deal is its own card. Now those cards show information from all of those databases that we have at the top. So I can see the person related to the deal. I can see the action related to the deal, whether it was in the past or whether it was in the future, identified by a green or red dot, showing me whether I need to act on this deal or not. Then I have the price, which is related to the product and all of this is shown in my dashboard view. I then have some actions at the bottom and you can filter the actions, the databases, all however you want. You can filter and sort the information however you want because that's how Notion works. So when I go into the deals database, you can see it is just this board view, which is what we can see on our main dashboard. The difference is on the dashboard, it is a linked view. What that means is it's like a mirror. So whatever I add to that mirror also happens in the main database. The main advantage of having this as a linked database in my dashboard is I can add filters. So I can add a filter to this dashboard view for any information is in there. So when we go into the card, you can see person, product, organization, and in that linked board view on the dashboard, we could filter for person. Maybe we want to see all the deals for one specific person, or all the deals for an organization, or all the deals that are active. We can filter that view to what we want to see, and I can have as many of those views in my dashboard as I want. And that is the advantage of using the linked database there. Now, as the lead progresses up the pipeline, the estimated value of the deal increases. So depending on what percentage you put in the formula that is in the box, and it will show you how to do that in the template, but it will change as you go up. So you can see those numbers changing as I move the tile up in the board. When I put the tiles together, that will actually sum up all of the deals that are at that stage across the pipeline. Now each deal has its own calculated value because of the products that are in that deal. So if there are two different products or services that are in that deal, it will calculate the sum of all of those products. Then the board will then calculate the estimated value for all of those deals at that stage along the pipeline. When you go into the deal, every single deal has its own dashboard. So the information in there, such as actions to do, actions completed, products involved, contacts involved, and any notes you will have taken through email communication, any meetings you've had, all of that information can be stored inside the deal dashboard. So when you have different deals for different people, different organizations, or multiple deals for the same person, all the information for those deals will be in the deal dashboard, not just everywhere spread all over the place. When you go into the organization's database, the organization is linked to the person. So you could have three or four contacts for one organization and then a website. And if you want to, you can add more information in this database. Now in the contacts database, it's very similar. The contacts are related to the organization and then you can put any other information you need for the contact, i.e. email, phone, anything else you want to put in that is contact specific. Moving on to the products, the products are very similar. The products have the price of the product and that is gonna be consistent across the board. So you could create numerous different products and numerous services. And when you link those services to a deal, the number is automatically put in. So the price is sorted for you. Any information for those products, specific information for the products, maybe shipping costs or anything like that, that can be added to the properties of this database so that all the information can be seen in the deal. 
Then we have the actions database, which are the things that you're actively going to do to push that deal across the pipeline. That could be organizing a meeting, organizing an event, sorting out emails, shipping the product, or giving the actual services. It's entirely up to you what those actions are. I do want to reiterate, this is on the free version of Notion, so you don't have to pay for any of this. All you need is a bit of time and patience to build out what you want, the way that you want it, and you can adapt and change the views to how you see fit. If you're interested to learn more about Notion and how you could use Notion, make sure you check out this video over here, and I'll see you there.